Dean, I, th I don't think anybody would argue with your effort in San Jose the other night. How do you, how do you fine tune that effort a little bit? Well, we just have to find a couple of goals somewhere, right? I mean, everything else, like defensively, um, we were really sound. We, we had a lot of good possession time. We just didn't, you know, throw some pucks over over his pads, or, or, or maybe, even more importantly, get second and third opportunities to score goals. Um, so we worked on that a little bit, talked about it a little bit yesterday, and hopefully we can get that done here tonight. And what does that kind of work involve? Because again, it's it's really fine tuning and tweaking, right? Well, it's just getting to the net. And yesterday we did a little drill and tried to push the guys to get two inside so that you do get those second, and third opportunities and. It's not, it's not being uh, not aggressive because if you're in there, somebody else has to be there with you and then it's just foot races to loose pucks and what have you. So um, our guys are, as you mentioned, our effort is, is real good. We just uh, you know, have to stay inside a little bit more. What does uh, having this kind of a break at this time of the season do for you, either positively or negatively, or, or how to use it so it is a positive? Well, we'll see tonight. Is we should have uh, a ton of energy, obviously. It's, uh, um, it's, a, it's a good team-building exercise to get the guys together as well um, in, a, in a really nice climate, clearly. Um, not that Columbus has is, is got bad weather, but, um, but it's, it's been a nice couple of days. So we should have uh, recharged our batteries. We should have a lot of energy to start and uh, you know move forward uh, with our season you were gonna... line up changes to me oh my gosh <laughs> did you actually just ask a question how many how many times did you rehearse that Five. <laughs> <laughs> um yes jvr is coming out reese is going in uh d will stay the same as the other night and um elvis will go in net thank you very much for the question such a strong effort the other night, but you didn't get the result. How do you how do you fine tune that to so you do get the result that you want? I just score more, obviously. Um, easy answer, but their goalie played well. We had chances. We just didn't score. Uh, it was I think, 50 shots on net, and um, some really good looks, some great A's right in front of the net, and he was just making good saves. But I think we waited a little bit too long to really press in that game. We kind of were we had chances, then we, it was a little bit of a lull, then we had some chances, but. We did some good things, but yeah, if we can finish a few more of the great A's, give ourselves a little bit of a cushion, and then we're gonna. We played good defense, and obviously our goaltending's been solid, so um, we're we're confident. We're, you know, you give up one or two goals, you should be able to win. So uh, we feel like we got the guys in the room to be able to score three or four a night. And certainly plenty to build on as you continue this road trip tonight, right? Yes, yeah, it's a good start. Obviously, we've had a few days off, so um, it's. It kind of sucks. You want to kind of keep going when you lose a game like that. You want to play right away again just to kind of bounce back. But we got an opportunity here on a back to back to have a good start tonight in LA and then head to Anaheim tomorrow. But one at a time, just kind of slowly, um, you know, get the wins. And no matter how they got to get done, whether it's like I said earlier in the season, one nothing or six one, doesn't matter how we're going to win games. It just matters that we get the W's at the end of the night. You were so engaged in that game the other night, and it's been noticeable all season long. Just tell me about where you think your game is at this point early in the year. It's just kind of being able to have that freedom to be offensive and you know trying to take care of the defensive side of the puck first. And uh, I feel like Christensen and I, we've, we've talked about it a little bit, um, have, have made out for a pretty good pair so far. And we kind of both understand each other's games and try to keep it simple in our own zone. And, and when, we, when we don't, we, that's when we get ourselves in trouble. So um, we just understand that, hey, let's take care of our zone first. And then when we get on the other side of the puck, we, we both have such good offensive instincts. And um, you know, I feel like I rely on that quite a bit myself, my own game. So. That was kind of, you know, that's that's just kind of the way I play, and I enjoy to kind of get up there, and we've we've been able to have the freedom in the Ozone to, to be able to do that. I mean, you talk about when you lose like that, you want to get right back out there, but in this case is a little bit different because you're on the road. So like if this happens at home, everybody's got their wives, girlfriends, kids, and you kind of go away from it. But you guys have been around each other now for the last couple of days. Can there be a, a benefit to that, trying to put it all back together, being in this kind of environment? We can, yeah, for sure. Um, that is true. That's, that's a good point you make. Obviously, when, when, when you're at home, everybody kind of has their own lives because you have your families and you have everybody there that you're away from the team. But when you are on the road, you're with each other every single day. And um, we haven't been sick of each other yet. we got a few more games left on this road trip. But uh, it's been uh, you know some good conversations, some good video sessions, and we're just trying to figure out ways that we can you know sharpen up our game no matter what uh, area of the ice it's in to, to be able to win.